Hi, welcome to all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will talk about projection of lines, question in which the given line has both ends in different quadrants. Let us take an example for better understanding. The line PQ is 90 mm long, makes 30 degrees with HP and 45 degrees with VP. The end P is 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Whereas the other end is in third quadrant. Draw the projections of the line, find front view and top view lengths along with their inclinations. Let's extract the given data first. Given line is PQ, two length is equals to 90 mm, beta is 30 degrees, and phi is 45 degrees. P is 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. That means P is in first quadrant, whereas Q is given in third quadrant. To find front view length, top view length, alpha, and beta. Let us put this given data on our normal solution in order to understand how to start with the solution. So, this is our normal question, which consists of the line given in a single quadrant, whereas we have the line in two different quadrants. So, P dash and P are still going to remain in the same positions because P is still in the first quadrant. Whereas Q is in third quadrant. According to third quadrant, the front view Q dash should be below XY and the top view Q should be above XY. It's very clear that positions of these two lengths will be flipped. So theta will be taken down instead of taking up and phi will be taken up instead of taking down. So, you have to take the two lengths like this. So, you will get the front view locus here below xy and the top view locus along this line, you will be having it above xy. Let's draw the solution. Starting with the xy line, vertical projector, locating 10 mm above the front view point P dash and 20 mm below top view point P. Taking theta downwards that is clockwise drawing a line at 30 degrees taking five forty five degrees anti-clockwise or above and drawing another line at this 45 degrees we have true length 90 mm so keeping the compass on p dash here with radius 90 mm in the compass drawing an arc similarly keeping compass on p here and creating another arc here Obtaining the locus. So, this is the front view locus of point Q with this true length name as Q1 dash. Similarly, locus of Q in top view, corresponding name Q2. Now we have to project this Q1 dash up to opposite points opposite view, that is the line of P and the corresponding name Q1. E. Q1 in your compass as a radius, compass with center P here, drawing an arc until it intersects with the locus of Q in top view. The corresponding name will be Q. Similarly, projecting Q2 up to opposite points, opposite view, that is P dash here, corresponding name Q2 dash, keeping compass on P dash and radius P dash to Q2 dash in your compass, keeping compass here drawing an arc until it intersects with the Q locus in front view. Corresponding name Q dash. Now joining P to Q that is the top view and P dash Q dash this is the front view. We have obtained the solution. If you follow the steps and obtain the solution in this manner, the final answer is front view length will be 64 mm, top view length will be 78 mm. Alpha will be 45 degrees and beta will be 55 degrees. Hope you have enjoyed the video. See you again with another video.